What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next example, dealing with trig, another word problem. So we're told two buildings are 40 meters apart. The taller building is twice as tall as the shorter one. From the roof of the shorter building, the angle separating the line of sight to the base and roof of the taller building is 60 degrees and we have to figure out how high is each building. So let's draw a diagram of what we are working with here just to give us a better visual. So let's say we have the shorter building which is here and we have to find the height of this shorter building and the taller building as well so we could label this as x and then let's say that the taller building is over here. We're told that this taller building is twice as tall as the shorter one. So we could actually label this as 2x like this. And then we're told that they are 40 meters apart. So the distance from here to here is 40 meters like that. It also means that the distance from any point on this building to this building is gonna be 40 meters. So that means that this distance is also 40 meters. Just wanna mention that you could put this line really anywhere. And that's going to be important when we set up the different triangles that we're going to work with later in the problem. But for now, I'll just keep the 40 meters down here. Okay, so we have that. And then we're told that what from the roof of the shorter building, which is here, the angle separating the line of sight to the base and the roof of the taller building is 60 degrees. So the line of sight to the base of the taller building is like that, right? From the roof of the shorter to the base of the taller, and then from the roof of the shorter to the roof of the taller, like that. Okay, so we have these two lines of sight, and we're told that the angle between the lines of sight is 60 degrees. So you know what? I'm actually just going to put these as um, solid lines here. So we're told that this angle here is um, is 60 degrees right there. Now, one thing I want to mention is because this side is double this side, well, if we draw a horizontal line through it like this, this over here is x, so that means this to this is x, which means that because this whole thing is 2x, that means this would be x as well, right? If we labeled the height of this building as x, well, if we draw a horizontal line, then that means this length to this length is x, and that means this length to from here to here, that length is x as well. And so notice that because of this, we're splitting this angle of 60 degrees exactly in half. So that's one of the tricks of this problem. Okay, so if we draw this dotted line like this, it means that this is 30 degrees and then this is 30 degrees as well, right? Just uh, because both of these are equal over here, meaning that this length and this length are gonna be equal. So it's an isosceles, this large triangle here that we're working with is an isosceles triangle. And so if we know that this angle is 30 degrees, well, because this line and this line, the ground, are parallel, well, with the Z pattern, that means that this angle is 30 degrees, like that. And so now notice, we can find the height of this shorter building X here because we have a right triangle and we have an angle and one of the sides like that. Okay, so first thing to recognize, this is half of this. And so the 60 degrees that was here, we could actually split that in half with this horizontal line. So this would be 30, this would be 30. And because this is 30, that means this is 30 as well. And now we have this right triangle we could work with. So I'm gonna take that right triangle, I'm going to draw it over here. So we got what? X, 40, and then this is 30 degrees, like that. And so if we use this as a reference angle, the 30 degrees, we'll notice that this is the adjacent side and this is the opposite side. Right? And then this is the hypotenuse, which we won't be dealing with in this case. 
So we got the opposite, the adjacent, which ratio uses those two sides, the tan ratio. So we could set this up as tan 30. Remember, tan is equal to what? Opposite over adjacent. So we could say it's going to equal x over the adjacent side of 40. And so now we could solve for x. We could put this over 1, cross multiply, 1 times x is x. Then we'll have 40 times the tan of 30. And when you do that calculation, you'd get an x value of 23.09. And notice, what is this x value? What did we let that variable, uh, variable be? Well, it is the height of the shorter building, 23.09 meters, right there. And we have to find the height of each building. Well, we know the taller building is just double the shorter building. So to get the height of the uh, taller building, we could just take that 23.09, multiply it by 2. We'd end up with, well, 46.18 meters for the taller building over here. Okay, and those are the two solutions. All right, so a couple of different tricks in this question. First off, even just drawing the diagram could be a little bit tricky, fully understanding what's going on. Then recognizing because this is half of this, and when we draw this horizontal line, it actually splits that angle of 60 degrees in half. Then we have the 30, which means that this is the 30 by the Z pattern. And so then we have the right triangle, and then we could solve for that height. We could have also solved for this x value here because we know that this was 40 as well, right? It's the same triangle, this triangle here and this triangle here, okay? But this was a little bit more intuitive because we directly had the height of that shorter building labeled, okay? And then you do your tan ratio, you get the height of the shorter building, multiply it by 2 to get the taller building.